Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Let's Try and See with Dina B. And right now I have this beautiful peacock style look that I came up with using my NYX glitters. And I can't find them. Oh, here they are. <laughs> using my NYX glitters. Um, like I said, I've been experimenting lately with glitter and more color. So I came up with this beautiful teal and purple look for you with a little bit of blue. And I hope you like it. If you're interested in seeing how I got this look, then stay tuned. But before you do, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to start with our eyebrows done and with our NYX Angel Veil primer already on. That's why I'm looking a little dry. But also, to give you a heads up, don't go too hard on the primer or it will start to break up when you're trying to rub it in so a little goes a long way just a heads up but this primer is bomb.com okay it's about 16 bucks but it really does the job i'm really impressed it's also recommended by jackie Ina. so yeah ladies and gents definitely go and grab that angel veil primer and it's by nyx so um, what you see me now doing is prepping my eyes. I'm grabbing that masquerade palette. And the first thing I'm gonna do with my fingers is grab that beautiful teal color. And um, like I said before, with shimmers, um, with the Juvia's Place palettes, you do not need brushes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm concentrating in the front corner of my eyes. And then I am grabbing that second to last purpley blue, blue shimmer color and I'm putting it on the outer um, corner and I know it looks a little messy and I do clean it up with a makeup wipe so um, you, that part doesn't have to be very neat but just clean it up with a maple wipe to create the um, desired look and then the next thing I'm going to do is grab that um, grab that um, masquerade palette again and I'm grabbing that orangey brown color and I am what I'm doing is creating a transition shade like I said before it's like a makeup pack a little bit where you can still put that transition shade in after you started your makeup then I am going in and I'm darkening around like the cut crease area and I'm saying that in cut air quotes um, because we're not really doing a cut crease like that but I want to darken that area just a tidge and then we're grabbing this little purpley shimmery color to kind of darken up that purple um, outline on the back in the back corner of your eye and then next up we're gonna clean that up a little bit <clears throat> Sorry, it's very early morning that I'm recording this, <laughs> and I sound like a guy. I apologize. I'm so sorry. Now I have the NYX glitter um, glue, and I am applying in it, applying it to the outer edge of my eye where that purple color is, because I am going in with this NYX glitter glue in blue. It's like a blue glitter. It's beautiful. It's very very potent, but and that's what I'm doing and I'll do that on both eyes so that's what you see me doing I'm adding a little more glue so that I can pack it on where exactly where I want to pack it now the key to this step guys is using two different brushes one brush for glue one brush for glitter for glitter I cannot talk this morning I'm so sorry now I'm doing the inner corner and with the glue first and then I'll go in with this NYX glitter in teal And that's what you see me doing and I'll do that on the second eye also now also um, try to work in sections when you're applying the glitter um, it's better that way just to put a line down first and then another line down and then another line down that way you're not throwing a lot of glitter on your face all at once and um, causing any fallout and getting glitter everywhere um, I didn't have it too too bad but there was definitely glitter fallout it was glitter fallout on my lashes fallout on my cheeks and stuff but if you work in small sections it's a little easier that way
Okay, so the last time I did a um, glitter look, I did not put the glitter on the eyeliner. So this time I was trying to fill my eyes fully with glitter. And so now I have to cut through the glitter with a black gel liner, which was a struggle and a half, okay? Jeez Louise. But as you can see, I did it. Um, that gel liner still cut through and broke through. It was beautiful. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I'm applying gel liner to both lids and I'm also doing the waterline with the gel liner in black from Maybelline. So now I'm grabbing the Masquerade palette once again, and I am touching up my inner corners with that teal. And then I'm grabbing the Zulu palette, and I'm grabbing that beautiful purple, and I'm smoking out my waterline in a bright purple. I also do this after I do my foundation to brighten it up to make it pop a little better. Um, so this is kind of like a two-step. And then I also grab that um, champagne shimmery color um, with a sponge applicator and I'll do my brow highlight so that's what you see me doing there next up is my favorite part my Fenty foundation in a shade 410 and I know it might come off like it's not the right shade but I remember in the very beginning I put on way too much angel veil that's the problem um, it we do you know work it out but um, you can't go too hard on this angel veil man because um, it makes your makeup come off a little cakey so just be careful with that so as you see me um, I'm kind of rubbing it in getting it um, blended in as well as I can um, but because of the angel veil it kind of comes off a little titch bright but with the contour and highlight program I have going um, everything kind of works out so as you see me doing I'm applying my highlight and Maybelline Fit Cafe and I'll be blending that out then once I blend that out um, I'll also be adding my black opal finishing powder um, with a dry small sponge and only a little bit a little bit goes a long way it does the job and then after that I will be contouring with my beautiful black radiance pressed powder in the color black Ra black coffee not black radiance it's from black radiance I'm so silly but that's what you see me doing here. I'm doing my pressed powder first and I'm blending that in really good. And then I'll go and grab my black coffee. Um, oh, there it is that I told, I warned you that I would go back into my Zulu palette and update that purple. Um, but now I'm doing my contour with the black coffee pressed powder. Um, I usually contour with pressed powder. I don't really use um, cream to contour because I, I don't feel like I have enough control with that but yeah and then I'm actually contouring my nose a little bit and then I'm also going to um, do my bronzer so I'll bronze my face up a little bit also I love that bronzer it's really really nice it's from um, covergirl the queen collection in the color ebony Y'all need to get that for summer. It's bomb. And you don't need to put it, put it on with um, foundation. You can just use it, you know, without it. And now I'm in my Oasis palette adding too much highlight. I apologize. <laughs> wow. My glow is strong today. Okay. <laughs> now I am... Um, Going in with this beautiful purple lip color. You can use any lip color that complements your look. It doesn't necessarily have to be this, but it's like a blue purple. Um, and um, I'm adding that on. Now with matte lips, you kind of got to kind of work that in and fill in all the places because eventually it kind of does break up a little bit. And then 
Next, I'll be doing my lashes, and after that, my look is pretty much complete. And so, yeah, that's my look. Also on the lashes guys, don't forget to take your time and pinch those lashes together. Once you get it set on the lash line, you pinch it always. I'm also going to retouch my lip and that is pretty much it. You know, um, once you get that second lash on, remember pinching is key. Retouching your lipstick is key. Retouching your contour is key. <laughs> um, I'm a contour-holic, I'm sorry. I know you guys probably think my contour is just way too much. I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> okay, so this part right here is this purple glitter liner. And um, I forgot that it had glitter in it. So when I lined my lips, I was a little surprised. But then I was like, yo, this looks good. And then I was like, yo, let me line, put a little on my eyes too. So that's what that was. that's how I got this beautiful look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you choose to recreate this look. My Instagram is the real Dina Smith. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your cousins. Bye! I woke up like this. I woke up like this.